If you were the richest man on the planet, how would you live? Would you continue to be the man next door, but with a strict routine? More energized, I'm a better husband, a better dad, and when I'm happy at home. The man we're focusing on today is Jeff Bezos. Just check out how the world's richest man spends his morning routine. But before you start watching this video, click on that subscribe button and subscribe to this channel. The genius that is Jeff Bezos, the CEO of Amazon. Jeff Bezos is a genius. From just six years on Wall Street to becoming the world's wealthiest man, he really seems to have got a lot going on in that mind of his. He has changed the way people shop, which is never going to be the same again. And besides being the CEO of Amazon, he is now a movie producer, creating AI technology and who knows what other billionaire projects that are under wraps in Amazon said to you, you know, I want you to take this mission, I want you to solve world hunger in five years. But as surprising as it seems, Jeff Bezos still maintains a healthy morning routine, and whether you're rich or not, there is much you can learn from the man who lives life how it should be lived, and even make sure he gets his rest, like he once said at a speech given at the Economic Club of Washington DC on September 13. The Morning Routine of Jeff Bezos Jeff Bezos is not a lazy late riser. He is among the successful people who believes in the early to bed, early to rise mantra. And as he says, I go to bed early, I get up early. That should tell you, here is a man who seems to be a stickler for routine and who likes to putter in the morning. Call him old fashioned, but the first thing that Bezos likes doing after he brushes his teeth, of course, you don't need to be told that, do you? He likes to sit at the breakfast table with a cup of coffee and the newspaper. To believe that we're not going to be criticized. I mean, that's just part of the. He also takes his time doing it. If you thought being the richest man in the world means having no time for yourself, think again. With Bezos, things are different and he believes in giving time to the important things that matter in life, and a morning ritual is one of them. Coffee and breakfast After his coffee, Bezos will enjoy a good breakfast with his family, that's wife and novelist Mackenzie Bezos and their four kids, three boys and daughter whom he adopted from China. Bezos sometimes cooks for his kids and likes making large breakfast meals for them. When Russell Wilson of the Seattle Seahawks and his wife Ciara stayed with Bezos, the billionaire cooked them blueberry chocolate chip pancakes for breakfast. He also does the dishes too. Here is a man whose mindless morning routine is just as important as making billions the rest of the day. And this is what we should all learn from him. Starting the day in a lighter mood helps him clear his head and be more creative. In fact, even studies have shown how doing mindless tasks in the morning allowed the mind to wander and be more creative. He always starts his work at 10 a.m. Once breakfast is over, Bezos will start work with his business appointments scheduled to begin at 10 a.m. and not earlier than that. For Bezos, there should be no rushing. It's pretty much take it easy, and isn't that a good thing? Because of what use is all your billions if it keeps you away from your family? And remember, you only live once. Maybe Bezos thinks the same thing, which is why he approaches the day with a relaxed mood and mind. For Bezos, it's not about rushing to work first thing in the morning, it's about relaxing, but at the same time utilizing time as efficiently as possible. The most important meetings come in the morning. After 10 a.m., Bezos will be on a roll and then onwards, it's just business and more business. He will focus entirely on Amazon and always schedules the most important meeting for the day at 10 a.m. because he says that's the time when his brain is the sharpest. I think of it as a gold standard culture for innovation and pioneering work. How he puts it, I like to do my high IQ meetings before lunch. Like anything that's going to be really mentally challenging, that's a 10 a.m. meeting. He has a few business meetings. You might feel that Bezos might be one busy tycoon the entire day, which may be taken up by endless meetings. After all, when you're running a billion dollar company, you need to lead from the front, don't you? But not Bezos. He expects people to do the job he pays them to do, and as a result, has very few business meetings even with his investors. 
and, and like you, I want to call out John Schottler and his team because uh, they have spearheaded this for Amazon. It is said Bezos meets investors maybe a total of six hours every year. What does he eat in the office? Well, nothing really. But if Bezos has to order a business lunch, he believes in a two-pizza rule and will never organize a large meeting with too many people. For Bezos, a group meeting should be only big enough for two pizzas and that's it. Moreover, if you're working at the Amazon HQ under Jeff Bezos, you may have to forget about lunch because he doesn't really believe in having one. He has set a frugal tone at Amazon, which means no perks and no free lunches or snacks either. But this doesn't mean Bezos doesn't have a taste for food and exotic dishes too. At one meeting with Woot founder Matt Rutledge, he ordered octopus with potatoes, bacon, green garlic yogurt and eggs for breakfast. He stops when he is tired. Bezos doesn't believe in working off your ass to work your fingers to the bone. If he is tired, he will stop and continue the next day. This is one CEO who doesn't really get stressed out simply because he won't take on the type of lifestyle and work culture that is liable to burn anyone out. As soon as it approaches 5 p.m., he will stop being too busy and avoids meetings or lengthy discussions. I get eight hours of sleep, I prioritize it. Unless I'm traveling in different time zones, sometimes it's impossible, but... For him, it's like by 5 p.m., I'm like, I can't think about this today. Let's try that again tomorrow at 10 a.m. But isn't that cool? And a good thing, really. He feels that before getting decision fatigue, one should quit. He could be among the few CEOs without high blood pressure or has no clue what it means to be hypertense too. He's already quitting before it reaches that point. Great for him. When Bezos calls it a day. Bezos makes sure he ends his day at 5 p.m. just like a regular employee with a 9 to 5 job. That's his philosophy that will not allow him to do anything more after 5 p.m. All pending tasks are carried forward to the next day at 10 a.m. and not earlier. He knows that a decision put off at 5 p.m. would be much better off making at 10 a.m. when his mind is at its sharpest. Studies say that when the mind gets tired or exhausted, it will act out of impulse instead of with reasoning and logic. And is, the, is your work depriving you of energy or is your work generating energy for you? Once the mind gets exhausted, it acts out of impulse instead of acting within reason and logic. And if you know anything about making impulsive decisions, you know all too well how detrimental they can be to your success. For Jeff Bezos, sleep is important. How many of us aren't even close to being a millionaire but will stay awake until the wee hours of the morning? But not Bezos. For this man, sleep is important. There are many individuals who will tell you that after waking up early in the morning, they would fall right back to sleep and need to supplement some more to manage the tiredness. This is why Jeff Bezos feels that sleep is important and make sure he goes to bed on time to get that precious eight hours of sleep, something that not many of us do. For me, I need eight hours of sleep. I think better, I have more energy, my mood is better, all these things. The only time that Jeff Bezos does not get eight hours sleep is when he is traveling to a different time zone. Bezos says that after sleeping, he thinks better, feels energetic, and is in a great mood among other things. What can we take away from Jeff Bezos' routine? Well, you know now what the world's wealthiest man does from the morning, and we bet you never really expected that, did you? Well, Bezos is brilliant, and if you have observed correctly, he knows how to make those right decisions because he is always rejuvenated and fresh with energy. What he can teach us is that you don't need a day to be longer than it really is. I always talk about work-life balance, except I like to use the phrase work-life harmony, you can easily organize your day to be productive and efficient, but not at the cost of your mental and physical health. Bezos shows us how we can achieve things without needing extra time for it. All it requires is sleep, and Bezos gets plenty of it. If someone like Jeff Bezos can get so much done within a seven-hour time frame, maybe people like you and me could get half of that done and we'd be much happier than we usually are, don't you think? You can control your productivity, time and efficiency, but if there is a something you can't control, there's no point in wasting time over it. If you like this video and learned something today, why not give us a like and subscribe to our channel.